Hi, welcome to Pictures, Nerds and Words. I'm Hedgie, and this is Frozen Crown. They have a new album out, Crowned in Frost. Frozen Crown, Crowned in Frost. I think I see what they did there. This is a song called Battles in the Night, and we are in power metal land. Paz, who normally sits there if you're if you've only joined the channel in the last 12 months, um, but due to pandemic reasonsness, he's not there. But usually there's somebody sat there called Paz, and he really likes Frozen Crown, and I quite like them too. I'm not a massive fan, but they're total top quality power metal. I don't know if I can say anymore, really. We should just get on with it. But they've got this brand new album. And by brand new, I mean like, I don't know, a month ago, maybe two. Very new. So we've done Frozen Crown before. I think I've done them twice. So, you know, three times now. Well, I can count if nothing else.
Well, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> I like Frozen Crown. I like them enough to have a lot of time for them, kind of thing. But that is not their finest work. They are better than that. That, the only standout bit, no, the only, right. I hate doing this, but people come to this channel to see me tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that drumming was totally monotonous. I mean, it was utterly monotonous. It had absolutely no life in it whatsoever. This song sounded like a contractual obligation. It was a cook cookie cutter power metal song. And I did not like it. <laughs> I was tempted to say it was dreadful. However, it did have some redeeming features. I liked the solo. It was short. It kind of, again, felt a bit like you were feeling an obligation, but it was a good one. I liked it. It was, it stood out because the rest of the song, there is, there's very little there. And the other highlight is I like her voice. She has a good voice. I like her higher register more than a lower register. I think when she sings low, she sounds a bit flat, but, she, but when she sings higher, it comes alive. Sorry, these are, this is kind of, it does say opinion on, on the title, doesn't it? Um, so it's only my opinion, but the, the whole thing just sounds like, it sounds like you wrote it in a short amount of time and you just ticked enough of the boxes that you needed to tick to make a power metal song. I have heard this band do far, far better stuff. And that's, I think, the thing that's niggling me when you know somebody is capable of something and what you get is a, is a far lesser thing out from them. You know there's something, go there's something wrong there. Paz, um, who I referred to earlier, funnily enough, um, and I had the same conversation about Cobra and the Lotus, who did some amazing stuff, and then the stuff they did a year ago was just not on the same level, just not on the sound, just not on par with their earlier stuff. And that song, this song, feels like that to me. I have no desire to hear that again. And I've heard far worse songs. Part of it is disappointment. And part of it is, it just didn't do anything. It was just, it was just, it just exists. It was just monotonous. That drumming. From the beginning to the end. It just, it, monotonous is the best, best word. So as a whole, I'm not a fan of that song, you may have noticed. Battles in the Night, I know power metal can be a bit cheesy, but everything, the, the melody, everything, it just, I really did not like it. And, I'm, and I, I think I liked it less than I would normally because I know this band has put out some really good stuff. There you go. Well, I'm probably gonna get some flames in the comments from people who think you should judge people on how they look but personally, I just, I, I judge bands on what they sound like. <laughs> oh.